Chris here. This morning I'm flying from Missoula, Montana to Spokane, Washington. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. Let's go ahead and reset the view and go inside. We've set the flight level of 8000. Let's take off the parking brake and go ahead and get started. Actually, you need to put the flaps up because we don't need those to take off. straight down the runway for some reason. Landing gear up. Hey, 487 continue for west departure. Missoula Tower KA487 continue for west departure. Alright, looks like we're good. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. Autopilot. Let it take over from here. Turn on the yaw damper. It's going to fix our heading for us. Quickly get us up to 8,000 feet. Looks beautiful outside. K487 leaving my airspace frequency change approved. 54 degrees and turn on the pedo heat just to see. Tower KA487 frequency change. Spokane approach KA487 is type Beechcraft King Air 5 miles northwest of Missoula, 5,400 feet. Request flight following. KA487 Spokane approach. Squawk 3, 743. Wow, it's beautiful out here. It's a little hazy, so things could be prettier. I think 8,000 feet is enough to get over these mountains, but I might have to bring that up a bit. I still need to find out exactly what this line means in terms of the topography. But I think I'm okay. feel a little close to the mountain ranges. Maybe a target like 10,000 would be better. Let's set this at 10,000. Alright, that's our new target.
such a beautiful view, I had to hold it for a long time. I feel like we're not climbing as much as I would expect to get up to 10,000. Got the throttle all the way up. Okay, now, now we're getting some height. I guess the air is just very bumpy here. It does seem like 10,000 might be enough. Back to the regional center that we've been communicating with all along. Alright, a little bit of a barometer adjustment there. Oh, that's a beautiful view also. Oops, see if I can hold it. I guess it's going to be pretty much like this a lot of the way until we get to Washington State. Basically going to be flying over Idaho. I thought about stopping in Idaho, but the Spokane Airport is just next door, so it made sense to just go ahead and head back to the West Coast. Pull back the throttle a little bit now that we're at our target altitude. Might as well take the drone out and look around a bit. I think the flight is basically stable. Don't know if they've fixed the speed yet on this. Anyway, let's give that a try. Yeah, it's not really moving fast. Just being dragged along by the airplane.
fun little drone trip. Still wish I'd fix the speed issue. It's really interesting seeing all the dark green forest as we get further west. back inside and see what it feels like in here. I think we're okay in terms of these mountains. We might be getting a tad close. Let's see, maybe I should check that from out here. hard to use the mouse. Yeah, we seem to be fine. It's 38 out. That's pretty cold. Like the heads-up displays could be a little brighter. Turned them down last night. That's better. Kind of wish there was a default view. Maybe I can save a view. It gives you this overview of everything. Not really sure how to do that. Let's see. Adjust the parameter. Okay, there was a bit of a change there. brighter as the morning wakes up. Loving all the views, just kind of keep looking around as we fly by. I see various kinds of landmark markers off in the distance. I thought I'd had labels turned on, but I'm not seeing any. That's okay. We're still working out issues after the Xbox compatibility upgrade. We have a rather long flight ahead of us, so I'm going to push the throttle up, see if we can get some speed going here. Try to keep it out of the danger zone. Delivery I've been using really matches the landscape. I need to go download some more. I haven't found a reputable source of recent uh, deliveries for this airplane, but I need to go look again. I found things from a long time ago that had controversies around them, so I didn't want to 
download something that was questionable. So we've managed to boost our speed about 10%. I could probably boost it a bit more if I dropped it in altitude. Let's try 9,000. I think that'll still clear the mountaintops. My thinking is the air is thicker as you go down in altitude, so maybe we'll get some more speed out of those propellers. Back in the throttle a bit. We're sort of heading into a red zone there, speed wise. But I would like to keep it close to the maximum. Model, see if we can push it as high as it'll go. Might be able to squeeze a tad more before the engines complain. Just saw a lightning flash. Okay, so we've got something like a 10 or 15% speed increase. I think that'll help. It's not such a pretty view because of all the haze. Three-dimensional detail in the mountains is amazing. I guess that's radar data. Such a beautiful airplane. I've been flying this for most of my learning to fly tour. Fast and easy to fly. I would like to move up to jets. I need to learn a little bit more about properly handling those for landing. Another lightning flash. This seems like a good plane to have settled on, though. I still need help with takeoffs and landings. Until I've got those down pat, I think I'll stick with this one. So I'm happy with our speed. Thun's, sun's coming out in some places. I'm hearing thunder. I think that's was I think that was thunder. dry lightning or whatever out here. I'm going to go inside the cabin and just check these dials right here. It don't seem to be a problem. Let's reset this view. Get rid of that toolbar indicator. Another nice lightning flash there. I don't know if the upcoming mountain ranges are going to be a problem. We can always go up and over them if need be. It's a little hard to tell from here what the altitude is going to be. I 
I think it might be close. I might have to go up a bit. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. It's kind of fun to look out the windows as if you're actually in the airplane. Okay, let's just do a quick sanity check on the mountaintops here. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Seem to be well enough below us, maybe by a couple thousand feet. Mountains are beautiful, the lightning flashes are really awesome. I'm really enjoying this. I think these will be the highest mountains we have to deal with. Maybe there is something off in the distance. Let's see if I can zoom in. And I don't, <clears throat> don't think that'll be a problem. Tops as we go by. postcard or a painting. Alright, 
so we're getting past these mountains and now we're getting into some more interesting land up here. We have to see what that's all about. Sun peeking out there over in the distance. I just love that cloud ceiling. Thunder in the background. ceiling and all the flashes are really interesting. I love that there's thunder. This is pretty much what you'd expect the Washington area to look like. I assume we're in Washington, we might still be in Idaho. The plane really just doesn't stand out against the background with its green livery. It's kind of nice. and take over for autopilot. I'm going to pull back on the throttle a bit and nose down. Soon I'll contact the airport and get the landing pattern set up. I have to go over those mountains before landing, so I don't want to drop too much altitude. It's a little difficult to tell from here. Maybe if I zoom in a bit. Yeah, I think that's actually on the low side, but I do have to go over it. So I'm going to nose up and drain off some of this speed. Too much. 
but we've got some more altitude. Let's go outside for a moment. Wow. Okay, I'm going to contact the tower. Okay, looking for KGEG. to use the menus and keep the plane level at the same time. We can level off now. That used to happen for you automatically, but it doesn't anymore. Okay, so we want to be at 4,700 feet for the pattern entry. Your nose down and take a look. So I'll have to get over that little hill there, but I think that'll be alright. I'm going to pull back on the throttle just a little bit, try to lose some speed. Dark and overcast morning here in Spokane. But nevertheless, so many beautiful views. I'll have to fly through here again sometime when the weather's nice. Okay, so we're about to clear these little hilltops. We might get a tad close to them. I'm going to nose up again and burn off some speed, trade off some speed for altitude. down and see where we're at with these hills. I think we're okay. Getting a little on the close side, but we'll be fine. I don't think I need to worry about it. Pull the throttle back a bit more and try to get our speed down closer to 140. Okay, there's the pattern. It says it's at 4,700 feet hit the barometer just to make sure. Okay, no, no barometer change. So, uh, it looks like it's higher than 4,700 feet. I guess maybe that's the actual runway is 4,700 feet. Maybe. Well, anyway, let's get over there and see. It does feel like I need to climb a bit. nose up. Just get some extra altitude and then go back to nosing down. Okay, yeah, it must be the tarmac that's 4704. So I can afford to get even more altitude. Just give it some throttle for a minute so we don't lose too much speed in the process. But I could afford to be at 6700 feet maybe. Let's 
see where we're at with that. Okay, this looks fine. Throttle back. I'm gonna put the approach flaps down. And push hard on the stick to keep from getting too much altitude. Also going to put the landing gear down. back on the throttle, the goal would be to get down to about 140 or less entering into the pattern. Okay, we're dropping due to the de-throttling. into the pattern. And throttle down. I'm going to creep my way over towards the right side to keep the runway centered. Could gain some more altitude here, trade off speed. All right, I think we might be okay. I might have to. Give it some more throttle if we don't keep our speed up. Um, but I think we're going to be okay. I can deal with the speed issue by nosing up again. don't want to do that too much. Okay, I guess I'll put the throttle all the way down. It just seems like we don't need it at the moment. Probably due to the steep descent angle. I feel like I'd like to keep the runway in view if I could. And we're still going too fast. Go ahead and put the landing flaps down and bring the throttle up to 50% until I know how much I need. Push hard on the stick to keep from getting too much altitude. Okay, we're going a little on the slow side. I can give more throttle if needed. But I think the solution is going to be to keep the proper descent angle. And I'd like the runway to feel a little bit more centered. Okay, so our speed's actually good now. At some point, I'm going to need to cut the throttle. We 
bridges right now. So I've left it down about 20% maybe. I think I'm going to drop it all the way down. I feel like we're coming in a little hot. If I pull up, I think I can hover and get us to the runway. Bartle is all the way down. Landing flaps are down. We're approaching the runway. Need to flare up a little bit. Try to gently set those wheels down. A little bit of rudder goes a long way. Okay, let's set those wheels down gently. Alright, that was gentle. Brakes. I think it's a little early to turn right there, but I see another place. K487 exit, runway with enable. Flaps up. I think I can exit. Oh, I'll follow the markers. Okay, that wasn't such a bad landing. A little topsy-turvy there at the end, but the wheels came down nice and gentle. Taxi to parking. K487 taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Alpha Charlie Cross Runway 3 Charlie Bravo. Taxiing to general aviation parking via taxiway Alpha Charlie Cross Runway 3 Charlie Bravo K487. to practice doing this from the inside to give you that sense of realism. And it would be nice to get better at doing this in a nice, gentle, controlled way. On the other hand, it's prettier to look at from the outside. Oh wow, big thunderclap there. Skedaddle across this taxiway quickly. And then here, I guess I'm crossing a runway. Now I'm actually turning onto another taxiway. Differential braking is really helpful. Makes me wonder if the game is capable of hitting the airplane with lightning strikes. That would be really interesting, actually. Get a lightning strike and have the plane go out in some random way. I kind of love that. made a difference to reduce the sensitivity of my pedals. Not super impressed with the quality of the Thrustmaster pedal, I might want to get something better. We'll have a ways to go here to get to our parking spot. 
maybe it's just up here ahead. I can't really tell. I guess we have a ways to go still. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I see. It'd be nice to do a nice, gentle parking for once. It's been a while. Usually I kind of go in from a funny angle or run over someone. Like because of that, they didn't leave anybody here to get run over. <laughs> Makes me wonder, or maybe it's just the difference in the ground crew, ground crew behavior. Okay, we are parked. Parking brake, engines off. Hear those thunderclaps going. Have to use the mouse, the controller, Xbox controller, powered down. Kind of afraid to power it on while recording. All right, let's go back inside and shut off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.